six spots. Um, they've already got a fan here somewhere, so I'm gonna pick up my live, switch live and stuff, and neutral from either here or there. I've got to replace, it, replace that, but I'll probably do it on second fix because they're gonna skim the ceiling. So get a free call from here, up, or around, down. I'll put a, um, a fused uh, fan isolator about here, and then back up, back up, and then I'm gonna put a, an inline fan up there <coughs> with some insulated ducting, and the builder's gonna put a roof tile like vent in so I can go up to that. And then six spots basically down here, the, the switch from here. Uh, take this light down, extend off of that with a Wago box or something, and then I think it's one, two, three, four, and then five, six, I think. So yeah. Right. Slight little bit of a um, issue. I went to go and test, get my test kit out, and there's no worth out of the lights. I knew that because when I took the board cover off, it was all line and neutrals. It was the old twin and, well, just <laughs> twins with no CPC in the actual physical cable. Luckily, I have it in my. Um, T's and C's about things like this. So I spoke to the client, he's happy to go ahead. So I ran in a new circuit. Um, so that was the fuse board, just the other side. I've come through this into this trunk in and I'm running around, well, I'm, I'm using his trunk in, running around and up and in, down to a switch, loop in. Looping the switch back out, new switch, new switch line for there. I've terminated the old feed which fed the WC and the old switch line in neutral that fed these lights in this extension bit in uh, one of those quick fix boxes. Eh, not quite sold yet. I bought one, I tried one, but it's, I don't know, there's more fiddly than it needs to be. I don't know, it seems unnecessary. Anyway, so I've just got to terminate that which is a feed, which is a loop feed from the switch into uh, my pull cord. And then luckily I've got a six amp RCVO. Do you remember that job out in the country where I replaced the, the 6108 after I added, I was swapping out down lights and there was a broken cable between two down lights. I bought a 6108 and I bought an RCVO. Luckily it's an MK six amp RCVO. So I'm gonna bosh that in the board and all of this will be on its own circuit, but it's extra. So, and the client's aware. When I went, when I came to have a look, I, I did drop the cover off. There was lots of bursts, lots of lives, lots of neutrals. I couldn't quite tell, but regardless, I still make sure in my terms and conditions, you know, everything must test uh, correctly. If not, you know, to be compliant, you know, I, I'm going to write a certificate and stuff. If not, um, work will stop and we'll assess the situation, chat about it, give you an estimated additional cost. It's all with, with good intentions. I didn't purposely know that it was going to be extras because um, uh, it kind of looked all right in the fuse board, but proved it when I took it off and tried to find the CPC, I actually noticed that there was no CPC. Of course, you've got, to, you've got to do that fine line between when you when you come to quote, how far do you look, to how far do you investigate, because you may not get the job, so you may not, you don't want to spend all that time looking at a job and, find, and then never get it. So I had, you know, I have to put those in my T's and C's. So luckily, they've agreed the extras, and we're getting it done now. Well, I'm getting it done. What's this fucking wheel all about? It's only me. Welcome back to the channel. It's only me. Ah, anyway, it's getting dark now. I was on a win. I was so close to getting done. First fix being done, but now I got, a, I got a refeed. So now I, and now I got to refeed all this. So I got to put a couple of metal clips in the in the trunk in. It's, it's the trunking was already existing, so I've just ran it in the trunking. And yeah, don't look at that. That was, I think the client did this to tidy up the cabling that was in here. I mean, look at the state of it. Um, so let me terminate that last pendant and I'll do, do my R1R2s, the insulation resistance, and then get get the lights on. I feel like shit as well. <laughs> Right, 
our CBO in and then link out between R1 and R2. So when I got the board cover off earlier, I couldn't quite tell. It wasn't until I took them out of uh, this fuse here that I could see it was all line and neutrals, no CPC actually in the cable. Um, but I whipped them out and went between line and the MET just to see if there's any kind of parallel path at all. But there was not that I would have installed them if there was, just to, just for coincidence, whether someone had popped it, had in, known about it and installed them, um, but had an earth path there. Like some, sometimes you see sockets wrapped around copper pipes and stuff where they put CPCs ran, ran around pipes and go into sockets just to give them an earth. But that wasn't the case here. It, I had completely yeah, open open circuit. So new cable ran in. I've used some linear uh, clips like that, straight through an existing hole. I will fire seal it up actually, and I'll fire seal my entry hole there. Let's go down to my uh, to the cave, and hopefully, if I go between. Should have made up a plug. I think I've seen Jay and Luke make up little plugs for Collingwood because they use them so often. But I said I was going to do it, and I still never got around to it. So uh, let's turn the meter on. I need to get some lights on. All right, open circuit at the moment. So hopefully this will prove polarity. And another one or two. <laughs> Lovely job. Cool. I'll just check the other one. Uh, this one down here. I'll test them all, but just for your reference, I'll um, I'll just go to the end of line just to show you. Right. Nothing. Nothing there. But if I flick, this is a new switch. So I ran in from the consumer unit in some trunk in, in the garage, down, down the stud wall. Hopefully when I flick this, we should hear a noise. Lovely. This will effectively be our highest reading because this is the furthest part of the circuit. Whilst there are five or six joints before then, this is the furthest joint. Okay, done now one or two. I've put those two Collinwood, put the two plugs back together. Um, I'm going to do insulation resistance test now. I'm going to blast it. I'm going between line and neutral. I'm going to blast it on 500 volts because I know I've just installed the circuit. I've got no problems with it. Nine, nine, nine. I'll go. Uh, um, and then what I'll do, let me connect up the CPC and the fly lead. And I'll do it between uh, the live conductors and the CPC. Right. With the installation isolated, I'm going to go between the MET and the line. 999 mega ohms. And neutral to CPC, 999 mega ohms, all at 500 volts with it connected to the MET between li each live conductor to the MET to make sure, whilst I'm almost, I'm 100% certain that I didn't damage it running it next to any um, adjacent cables, it's um, a test that would highlight if there's damages, you know, or or deterioration between two cables because you've gone to the MET. I'm just going to go around and flip the switches. I'll flick all the switches. That one there, which is, and that one there, which is commonly not done by people. But having said that, um, in the moment you switch on the, you flick the switch, it'll uh, highlight the issues anyway. Because it would bang out, you know, if there was an issue. But here we go, flick the switches. 
the neutral to CPC, 500 volts, nothing. Line to CPC, but at the MET with the flip switches, 500 volts, 999. Cool, happy days. All right, I'll connect them in and then I'm happy and that, that's safe to turn on. One more test just before I uh, put it back on is the RCD test. Type A. Twenty nine thirty eight six. And the functional button, cool. Well then for me values. Brilliant. So I just want to quickly label it up. I've just put some, I mean, it looks ugly as shit, but I couldn't think of another way to seal up that hole that I brought my cable in. So I sealed that as well. Uh, immediately I could have checked first thing when I got here, but I didn't, I just started working. But luckily most clients are pretty reasonable. They're very pragmatic. It needs to be done, no worries. <coughs> right, that's the penultimate job of this year done. I could have, I could have tested it. I could have, I should have, I should have learned. I, sh I should have tested before I, before I'd done it, before I started to make all the alterations, but, so that did. I mean, either way, whether I tested in the morning or after I'd done the work, the additional time to do the extra work would have been the same. So I still would have finished at the same time, but the importance of testing and before starting work. Now, whilst I do have it in my T's and C's, it's nice not to have it once you think you're done and then go, oh, fucking hell, I've got to do all this extra work, you know? Um, so, yeah. It's all horsed in the back of the van. <sighs> Classic end-of-the-day job. Um, yeah, right.